The Kentucky Derby, the Belmont Stakes, the Preakness, together they constitute the triple crown of horse racing. Or in the case of one very particular horse, perhaps the Triple Tierra. Meet Freedom Rings, a horse with a secret. A secret he didn't feel he could share with anyone. Look closely because although Freedom Rings is hung like a horse, he's been hanging his head in shame lately. Why? Freedom Rings is gay. Freedom Rings, tell us when you first realized that you were gay. I know this is difficult to talk about, so I'm going to employ the secret ancient art of horse whispering. I want to go back to that faithful day five years ago, the day when the track was really dangerous. What was it like to watch your lover tumble to his death? Was there anyone you could turn to? No, of course there wasn't. Freedom Rings never intended to publicly declare his sexual preference. But later that year at the Kentucky Derby, Freedom Rings world fell to pieces. Instead of bolting from the track, Freedom Rings had a breakdown in front of everyone. He tore out his mane, stomped his hooves, and declared, I am gay. Powerful words for a horse. I am gay. And from that point on, it's been nothing but sex, sex, sex for Freedom Rings. As Freedom Rings sowed his wild oats, the scandal shocked the racing world. Reactions varied from outright dismay to outright disgust. Do you guys think that a gay racehorse should be allowed to compete in the Kentucky Derby? Absolutely. Yeah. What uh, two consenting horses do in their stables, their own business, nobody else's. Would you consider that homophobia? Well, yeah. Um, I mean, that's like excluding a, a gay runner from competing in the Olympics. Why would they discriminate based on his sexual orientation? I don't think that's very nice. Well, let him enjoy himself, why not? <laughs> it's, all, it's almost like rape. Um, and that's where it's a touch and go situation. Some of the other horses were refusing to shower with Freedom Rings in fear that they too would be mounted. Freedom Rings found himself largely shunned. He was taunted mercilessly and called names. You're a fag horse! Yeah, man, fuck You're a good for horse. nothing, you Nelly horse! Freedom Rings hit rock bottom when it was revealed he had become addicted to a combination of cocaine and horse tranquilizer. And while this doesn't pose a problem for many gay men, for Freedom Rings, it was catastrophic. To quote one anonymous source, boy, could that horse snort a lot of powder. Finally, Freedom Rings found the help he needed here at Lilac Pastures, a horse rehabilitation center in Northern Ontario. I spoke to the founder and director of this facility, Dr. Hieronymus Dulatel, to find the answers that I was seeking. Doctor, the question on everyone's mind is, can all the king's horses and all the king's men put freedom rings back together again? Well, you know, we here at Lilac Pastures aim to provide quality care for today's thoroughbred and recovery. When Free, well, that's what we call him around here, when Free first landed on our doorstep, he was a spectacular mess. He, underweight, 50% um, lung capacity, red eyes, runny nose, puckered ass, although we don't quite know if all that was due to the drugs. Like uh, all the other celebrity drug addict courses here at the facility, he has to get up every morning and make his own stable. There are no special treatments here. Freedom Rings, as a token of our gratitude, Locker Room would like to present you with this flower to cheer up your stable. Oh my god, he's seeing the <laughs> And so Freedom Rings is trying to put together the shattered pieces of his life. He plans to return to his training regimen soon and hopes to compete again next season. We can only hope that the public, the jockeys, and the other horses can be persuaded to let freedom ring. For Locker Room, I'm Nina Arsenal.